Okay, I am heading to Tesla for the follow-up for my appointment where they replaced the air conditioning compressor. And as you guys all know, if you've been watching my videos, sorry, I'm not quite awake yet, but uh, the windshield wipers got broken and it was a strange coincidence. So I hope they're gonna pay for it. Gotta get going, 7.15 a.m. appointment and there's a software download, but we're not gonna do it. Not now, you're not supposed to do it before a new service appointment. Okay, I think the new supercharger is in here. The Wawa, there it is, yep. Haven't been there yet. All right, so here's the loaner. Factory reset. Didn't even need the code. Oh wow, well, it's a P100D, oh my gosh. Okay, this could be an amazing day if it's not locked in chill mode, amazing. Oh no, oh well. Of course there's no way to fix that. Locked and chill. Doesn't have too much mileage on it. All the autopilot features of course were off, I have to turn them all on even auto wipers and of course this is an older one with the sunroof the full opening glass sunroof tilting goes back let me just say that somebody was operating this thing out of chill mode it was over 900 watts average it's dropping down now maybe what I might try to do is try some 0 to 60 runs in chill mode see how we do It's still, wow, nothing impressive. That was floored. I noticed that on this car, the wipers don't really stick up. I barely see them, kind of like on my Model X. All my impressions with Model S's, and I've never been in on a P100D Model S, has been that they stick up and you hear wind noise. So maybe it's different with the P100D, I don't know. This one was built in January 2017, so a few months before mine. That's what the summer looks like when it's open. It's got a few scratches on the hood. This is a tire that's low. Oh my gosh, there's like no tread left on the back of this tire, wow. Just got a new haircut. Looks a little different than this morning, huh? Yep. If only it wasn't in chill mode, if only. All right, we're going to pick up the car. It turns out that they did not charge me anything. Zero cost. And he said she knew it all the time. I'm not surprised. And that I was just creating needless drama. Yeah. That's what she says. I don't like believe that. About whose fault it was. Who would believe that? Well, it was, it, yeah, I didn't do it. I would never break anything, right? Yeah, well, they did it. They oh, definitely did. So they didn't charge you for it. I just had to ask them, and they didn't charge you for it. Okay. 
was no reasonable person would think that you destroyed your own windshield wipers so soon after you had major repairs done on your car that required access to the front and all the componentry located nearby. <laughs> they yeah. are not going to assume that that just broke on its own. I guess. I hope so. I hope. Here, I want to show you. Actually, it opens by itself, but let me show you. Look. Back here, this is the most important thing on this car. You see it? It yeah, says P100D. Yeah, lovely. Even though it's super slow, this is the slowest Tesla I've ever driven, probably. The performance model. Everybody thinks this is fast if they see that badge on the back. And then, but I can't race anybody. I'll lose to everybody in this car. Every S looks the same except for the D on the end of the emblem. The D? Yeah. As a P. P100D. <laughs> Yes. Performance, 100 kilowatt battery pack, dual motor. Yeah, but is the body otherwise identical? Yes, they're all the same. Yep. And believe it or not, this is the same basic chassis that the X is built on. It's That's the problem with the X. That's why they have the vibration issues. This car is clean and doesn't stink like your car. It smells like leather though, like you're in perforated leather. They don't even make these perforated leather seats anymore. They had problems with them ripping because of all the holes. It smells good. The, this, was, this car was built in January 2017, two months before mine. And yeah, it's got low tire and it's got like not much mileage. 47,000. I have 170,000 on mine. Okay, I'm going to floor it. Ready? Here we go. Oh! It, there's no way to spin tires on this. Feet, no way. Turn right Zero onto Temporary Road. Seconds. <laughs> All right, my car's ready, and I had the quickest car in the world, the fastest, slowest car in the world ever. See, this is what I had. This is what I was driving just now. Is it backwards? I don't know if it's backwards or not. It looks backwards in there. P100D. It's the fastest production car in the world, 2.3 seconds, 0 to 60, sometimes less. And it was in chill mode, so it was the slowest Tesla I've ever driven. It wasn't even any fun. Can you believe that? That's what I got. That's what I got. I was expecting something else, and it was just slow and boring. That's it. Slow and boring. All right, so that's it. Goodbye, super slow P100D, fastest car, fastest production car ever with a flat rear tire. Oh, and I got a cicada on me now. Check it out. Whoa, there he goes. Ah. All right, I got to unplug this thing before we can go. They were charging it for me. Got the update? I can install it already? Oh, I should have installed it remotely with the app. I thought it was going to install automatically. All right, here's the moment of truth. Are you ready? I'm going to push this washer button. Whoa. Ooh, nice. It's Everything's oh, new. No clicking. <laughs> yeah, listen to that. How smooth that is. Yeah. It's like brand new. That's the way it was when it was brand new, right? Look at that, it's so smooth. Everything's smooth. 